Hey guys, it's Andrew Kira here, and today I will have to talk about the new regulations. Are you kidding me? Stickerless puzzles are now permitted. That is awesome. I know a lot of people like were waiting for that. They said that it would be in 2015, and a lot of people were asking when. Seven months after 2015 started, July 1st, 2015. Finally, stickerless puzzles are permitted. Uh, not yet, because uh, I'm filming this June 18th. Well, it's probably going to be over like June 21st or something. But July 1st, so yeah. Stickless puzzles are permitted. Competitors may be given extra attempts during incidents with an out unclear outcome. A recommended standard procedure for giving extra attempts is described. Competitors may may did not start an individually scheduled attempt and still be eligible for future attempts. Competitors must not compete with the intentive, in, intentionally poor results or DNF. So you cannot compete if you're getting a DNF on purpose or like wanting to get bad times. Uh, newer competitors may be given extra attempts for their inexperience at a competition. This only allows a full extra attempt and does not allow ignoring individual penalties. Organizers may enforce the use of an object to prevent a square one from being altered and transport to the timing station. So they're going to put like a cube on a square one so that it doesn't have like a miss scramble. If used, competitors must remove this object during inspection and the organization team must, take, must make it clear that such a tab is being used. It has been explicitly clarified that the board has the ability to modify results when the WCA regulations have not been obser observed, so they can change it whenever they want. O-rings and pad battery compartments for the timers are strongly re recommended. So now the reset button is going to be harder to click on a timer because they're going to put those ring things. Uh, you cannot reset the timer until the end of the attempt, and it has been explicitly clarified it, that judges must not, re was must not write down their times from memory. So they cannot just look at the time and then write it down from memory. They have to actually look at it like while writing, if you understand. Uh, competitors are allowed to use a clock during FMC to keep track of time, so they can have their own like watch or something, and they can see what time it is. They can see like if they like pass like forty minutes or fifty minutes of if of FMC. Oh my god! Uh, you are not allowed. Yeah, it has been explicitly clarified that competitors don't need to turn in their solution on FMC. I'm not so sure about that, what that is. Um, the organization team may require stronger measures measures to incur, ensure correct scrambles. Oh my god, I cannot talk. Pyraminx must require at least six moves to solve rather than seven, matching the number of moves in the current Pyraminx world record solution. Cameras are explicitly permitted as long as the is the competitors not interacting with them? I don't know why, honestly. That doesn't really do anything. Like, just looking at the camera to see your cube just wastes you more time. It has been explicitly clarified that not resetting the timer before, before an attempt is judge's fault and results in an extra attempt. That's going to be really awesome. So that you just get an extra attempt if, like, the judge didn't reset it or anything. The starting orientation of the clock does not specify a certain side of the clock for scrambling. Using video evidence to recover a time that a competitor reset is not allowed. Um, obviously, you can't just film it and reset the timer and just show because people can do different stuff. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for the regulations. I'll try to get this video out uh, soon, but probably not like so soon. Probably like three days after I film this, so... Uh, but honestly, that is just really awesome. Stickless puzzles are allowed. Um, that's pretty much the base one. Uh, there's nothing else really super big. There's still a lot of fixes that are really awesome. I have They say that stickless cubes have visual advantages. But honestly, that just wastes you time looking at the back. Um... I don't know, like, why they say that, but, like, you can just see the picture here. 
people are not gonna just look in the back because that just wastes you like a bunch of time when you can just like rotate or do a move or something. Um, okay, so they're saying that it's not a big problem with current stick list puzzles, but in the future, we need stick list puzzles to be good. Um, but yeah, honestly, that's pretty much it. So, thank you guys for watching this video on the new WCA regulations. Thank you to Kit Clement. Uh, he spent a long time uh, working on this. I know it took him a very long time. So definitely thank him. Uh, hopefully, the, the next competition that I go to, he will be there. I will definitely thank him for all of this. Um, just, yeah, guys. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.